good morning to you all. Uh, I'd like to make this special, um, not special, something very, very um, thoughtful um, um, video. Um, which I, I'm probably I'm doing this for the first time. Uh, last night I've been talking to my friend somewhere in the west, far away country, a developed country, and uh, me I'm from, I live in Far East, and we've been talking about meeting, coming down here, I've been talking about life, we, um, we get engaged on daily basis, and um, I met her um, a while ago, a month ago, here uh, in East. She, she was touring this place as a tourist, and uh, we became uh, possibly good friends. And she's been very attracted to the things here and wanting to come down again here. Uh, at all, you can come down, it's a nice place, spend your time here. But she was worried about her work. Of course, everybody has to work to earn an income, or make your living, make your ends meet. It's very, it's nothing special uh, about it. Everybody works. But here, I just want to give you some points on some things. Uh, hey. She said to me once, once she told me that if she would take off from the work and come over here and enjoy the life here in the East, she probably would lose her job. Her employer might kick her off. Of course, that's how it works. If you don't go for work and don't produce your product for your employer, Probably he 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 need no much he do, need not have much reasons to tell you to go away in a nice way. Of course, that's nothing nice about it. Um, now, when it when you're employed, there are basically two things happen to you. First, you think that the employer is very generous person and they are doing a big favor to you and you are obliged to be you know something like pledging allegiance or something like that many employees expect that uh, of course many employees even do that they're proud of the organization proud of the employee proud of the product proud of the job they do of course i'm not nothing against there's nothing against that i'm talking about but uh, what i'm telling the venue or employed typically you are providing your your service whatever in a different manner and you sacrifice a lot of things and this is used to produce a product for an employer and this um, an employee cannot survive without people like um, you and me because you need to work hard sacrifice yourself to produce product for the employer who will uh, sell that in a higher price and uh, you work for the meager pay uh, of course maybe i am exaggerating you might think so mm, okay let be i'm exaggerating but uh, apart from the sacrifice that you do um, this one thing you must understand actually you are doing favor to them and not they and that's very important to understand and the second thing what goes into the line is uh, um, the time. The idea of neoliberalism and uh, modern production is that they take away a lot of your time. A lot of your time. This friend of mine been telling that um, she has to work in, uh, on the work hours. Even after the work, you don't work, but you have a situation where you have to think about the work that's what happens you finish the work you go home sit and again you have to think about the work the problems you are likely to face tomorrow 
the problem that you already faced and what would be the future of your work, career, job, your wages, your family, uh, how you make your ends meet. It keeps on thinking. It makes you think more on um, yourself and, uh, you know, on a, con on a concentric manner. Uh, this timelessness makes brings you uh, into a very very unique thinking uh, level where you think about yourself more you lose your level of empathy to others You're, you become more apathy apathetic you know you become more apathetic because you need to think for yourself or you cannot move on because it's a doggy dog world out here you must remember that it's the truth, it's the truth. So when they take away your time, they mean that, and uh, additionally I want to say that, they give given you something called television. After the work, you glue to the television so they can condition you more, even when you are at home, uh, the so-called leisure period. That this is not nothing funny about it. This is very serious. How many of you go home after the work, think about the work, and imagine that you are enjoying the leisure time until the next work day, until the next morning. And you glue to the television and uh, you've been covertly spied on, you've been covertly conditioned to this system. You know, this is a thing which many people don't think. You need to think about it. Now, when they take away the time, what they do mainly is they do not want you to think more on extra aspects of human lives, like, you know, arts, philosophy, sociology, economics, and more importantly, me making music or creating art or any creative imagination, creative thinking, or any profound thinking about humans and humanity. That the whole idea, they do not want you to think on that song. Because the system in the West mainly, the system in America, system in the Europe, and even in some places in Asia, Japan, or whatever, they make you put you in a situation where you you don't you can't think on many aspects. It makes you more apathetic. Because these people who are on the top, which I'll explain who are they, do not want you to think because their main attribute is fear. They fear you because of your power is very, very, very dangerous. If you can use your power, it's very dangerous. They fear you. They need to control you, put you in the line. That's why they take away your time and make you, put you in a situation where uh, you don't think at all anything, anything profound. You know, this is a kind of a learned helplessness, what we call in psychology, learned helplessness. You know, you don't, uh, you condition the system. Many people do not know why they don't have time. They have to work, I have to work, I have to, I have to go, I'm busy, I have no time. I have to do this, get up in the morning, do that, do this go to the work come back again i don't have time i'm tired just grab something to eat and like just fall asleep or watch tv for 10 minutes and then that's it the, the day is gone so these people technically do not want you to think because if you think more if everybody start thinking with adequate time and adequate uh you know uh with a lot of relaxed manner if you have a life of relaxed manner with a lot of leisure you start thinking about science uh, arts humanities even science and uh, they really do not want another um, you know socrates plato or karl marx anybody like that they do not want anybody to be like that because that's a challenge for them these thinkers big thinkers in the world are big challenge for the capital society. I do not uh, want to directly blame capitalism, but 
because this is not a video to blame capitalism but capitalism is a problem we do not require but however this video doesn't give any I don't want to go much into that side but I want to talk on simple side how work schedule you employ or in capitalist society suck away your time suck away your money suck away everything you have you even compromise your personal life your loved life you know the time you need to spend with your children the time you need to spend with your family the time you need to spend with your friends and the time you need to just think just thinking time is taken away it is not a joke please think about it and please see my next episode more on this and continued ability on this